The back to school sales tax holiday is this weekend and it applies to school supplies that are less than $15 per item clothing, shoes, and accessories that are less than $60 per item, and the first $1,000 of a computer or computer accessories. I spoke with representative from Walmart about the trends this year amid the pandemic and how the back-to-school shopping experience may look a little different. This weekend, pencils, notebooks, and even masks are tax-free as families prepare for the first day of school. A recent survey conducted by the National Retail Federation found families plan to spend a record amount this year as they prepare for the upcoming school year, whether it's in the classroom or at home. The reality is we, we know it's going to look and feel different for parents, teachers, and students alike. Stephen Carter is the director of digital strategy for Walmart. He says the company is working to meet the needs of back-to-school consumers consumers during the pandemic. What we're trying to offer is in addition to our, our normal assortment, uh, providing some, some basics and, and, and technology that can support people who have to do a blended education setting or completely virtual. Uh, so we've, we've supplemented things like um, electronics, laptops, and that sort of thing. We've also uh, provided a lot uh, in terms of um, services from Sylvan Learning and PBS Kids. That we're excited about. Amid the pandemic, several stores also have measures in place to make sure the back to school shopping experience is safe, including increased cleaning, pickup options, and contactless payment. Walmart, Target, and CVS are among those that also have a mask requirement. And for the sales tax holiday this weekend, masks are considered a clothing item and are tax free.